<laughs> Born in the Biggie Down to Dominican immigrants, this protest poet considers herself, wait, 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 part Lolita Lebron, part Lois Lane. Now that's like, I love it. Full spectrum. She is a teaching artist whose writing has appeared in Warriors, Encyclopedia Latina, Fijate Magazine, and Siempre Nu. She is the founder of the Live Poet Society, a twice featured writer at the CUNY Dominican Women's Writers' Fair, and a former English professor. School is now in session. <laughs> uh, classes just started that short semester, so you know. I'm busy. Okay, so I can have trouble with this? Yes. Because <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a girl from Brooklyn. I'm from Bushwick. <laughs> well, if I could, then he would. <laughs> when talking to me about men, mommy always said, if I could, then he would. But to be perfectly honest, I never really understood. But now I do. He loves me because I love myself. But it did not start out this way, and you may be dismayed to learn that before I found him, there was a series of guys whose trademark was deception and love. About the definition of love, and about who comes first, and about how long it should last, and about what I was doing. But I can't lay the blame at their feet like I did in the past, for self-awareness is more about absolution and less about retribution for how men threw away what I gave freely. Men who only treated me the way I demanded, like nothing, like something expendable. You know, as long as I'm being candid. But surely to you this is perfectly understandable, for what can you demand when you have no standards, no role models or examples? <laughs> Except of women playing fast and loose with their vaginas as if they were bottomless receptacles.